Mesa Global. Look up at the sky on a clear night, and you'll see thousands of stars, about 6,000 or so with the naked eye. But that's only a small fraction of all the stars out there. The rest are too far away for us to see them. In October 2016, deep field images from the Hubble Space Telescope suggested that there are about 2 trillion galaxies in the observable universe, or about 10 times more galaxies than previously suggested, according to the journal Nature. In an email with Live Science, lead author Christopher Consolice, a professor of astrophysics at the University of Nottingham in the United Kingdom, said there were about 100 million stars in the average galaxy. A star has to have a minimum mass in order to sustain the fusion of ordinary hydrogen into helium in its core and shine. If it is less than this amount, the object is called a brown dwarf. Astronomers believe this hydrogen burning limit is roughly 80 times the mass of Jupiter, or 7.6% the mass of the Sun. The smallest star above this line is EBLMJ055-57 AB, which has 8.1% the mass of the Sun. It is located in a triple star system roughly 600 light years from Earth, and is roughly the size of the planet Saturn. However, several other candidates for the lowest mass star exist where their masses cannot be measured precisely enough to tell whether the object is a star, or a brown dwarf. But soon that will change. The James Webb Space Telescope, which was launched in December 2021 is sure to find much smaller stars. The James Webb Space Telescope, has sufficient sensitivity to better understand these smallest stars and will allow us to better categorize them. Enjoy discussions about science, technology, the odd and paranormal. Consider joining our cult. Uh, I mean subscribing to our channel.